yeah, he just didn't hear me or, or see me. And uh, I, from what I see on the picture, I kind of slide. <laughs> And the overall points leader, Jet Lawrence, getting the pressure from Cameron McAdoo in second. So at this point, is Cameron McAdoo riding defensive or is he just taking the fastest line possible? Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, a little bit of both. Okay. Like that right there. He can continue to defend and all he has to do is protect these two big 180s. And he gets the pass. Oh, look at Cameron coming right back. Oh, they tangle up, both go down. McAdoo and Jet Lawrence hook up and they both go down and Jet has words for the 48. Yeah, he got a hustle right here, both of them. You sense that something like that was coming. Here's a replay. McAdoo's to the inside. Oh, McAdoo just fades to the right a little. It looks like Jeff's just going to take off. <laughs> Danger boy. Adeline, what's your thoughts? And Jordan Smith Jordan fires Smith, right back. Little much for the heat. Well, certainly there was a little much. Health-wise, he's pretty good. But not so much. The team were working very hard. That's Christian, his mechanic there. And he told me that they had to replace with pretty much the entire front end of the bike. Scrambling for real estate. It's like a 567 down. You got uh, 57. Get a good start, don't make the big mistakes, and be smart. And that's literally what Bosch has done so far for 30 minutes plus this one lap. But when it comes race time, he loves to battle like this. Pressure will get to a lot of guys, often not him. Fred is out of line, and they almost collided as the white flag comes out. Bosch apologizing there. That was, he, he bottomed out on the face of that roller, and it actually threw him to the outside. So, but Ferrandis... You might have to explain that one to Ferrandis because he's going to be not happy about that. No, especially because it's allowed Tomac to get in again. I tried to find line to pass him, but yeah, couldn't. He was really riding aggressive, but was uh, was uh, was okay. There he goes. There's Frostard, his teammate. So Frostard there in second. It goes down. He hits a hole. Oh, and gets clobbered. Oh, oh, Frostard goes down trying to get up. But Frossard down on the deck. Still being attended to. Off the circuit. Closing in on the guy, Joe Hong Kong, which didn't play. There are a lot of similarities when you talk to Johnny and what Jackson. Here we go! Whoa! Ferrandez takes Christian Craig down! That was harsh! Christian Craig is saying, what was that all about? Oh, his handlebar is tweaked. Such a good night going for him, riding extremely well. So you can see Dylan goes up the inside, everything's okay. Oh, yeah, he just, oh, I mean, that, that, the exit of that corner closes up so tight. Look how far yeah, away. Oh, Christian Craig got flunked. Yeah, he comes over there. He's probably anticipating for Christian to roll out. Ferrandez's team celebrate. But we reiterate, his altercation with Christian Craig is under review. But there was a lot going on, like I said, in there. Um, mostly that the contact there with Christian Craig. We thought at one point it was going to be under review. Then we heard that it is not. What's it from your perspective? Talk me through it. Uh, I mean, I scrub really fast the, the, the finish line, and I, I, I like open my throttle to make uh, make noise. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, we make contact, but I feel like I was a little bit in front of me and of him, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, I apologize for that because uh, it's not, I mean, it's not, I never wanted to make him crash or whatever. I, I, I hope people will not get uh, too mad about that. But... Hey, we got a fight going on. It's Brandis, number 33. This is obvious something. It's obviously something that was brewing. And Rusty Holland. That is seventh, eighth, and ninth that you're looking at right now with John Short, the 72, Bernie going down sixth. Martin in seventh place, Ricky. It's going to be a long oh, it's gonna be, ten it's, seconds. It's going to be close. He's got to protect the inside right now. We can get over this double. It's game on. We will go to the main event directly from the Eagles. Wow. Wow, that is a great move. Bobo finishing in ninth place. So those top nine moving on to the main event. And Politelli, he does not want to give that ninth and final yep. transfer spot. Politelli thinks, up, oh, yep, I'm bringing it home. Don't have to go to it. the last chance. Crack Crack me. Bring, I'm just trying to bring him <laughs> down. And out of nowhere, boom, Bogle comes, oh. takes him down, goes straight to the main event. And, oh, this isn't going to age well, I don't <laughs> believe, with Politelli. Turn up the intensity right now. Oh, I 
Who's going to pass him? The handlebars on the points leader, Randy Champion's bike, are twisted. That's going to make it really difficult. Let's take a look at this. It looked to me, Jeff, like Forkner drifted over on him. Yeah, so, yeah, Forkner jumps over a little bit. Not, not a lot, but they just came together right there. Look at, look at Osborne loses his balance just a tad. See his uh, body, uh, body English on the bike. And at that point, it was over. Oh, he put his face into the rear fender on Fortner's bike. And here comes Osborne. He is going to hold on and finish third. What a mess. He's fired up about something. Oh, here we go. We're yeah. going to have some words here with Fortner. Fortner did go to the left a little bit, right. but they both were kind of... That was, that was some close racing. Just try to focus on where they're at on the track. Short here, goes a little bit left. Oh, yeah. Man. I don't know, Osborne. Replay of a crash here earlier. Jeremy Hand goes down. He hit a throttle right now. Watch this. Adios. Wow. That could have been ugly. See old Guy B. Yeah, watch out, Guy B. Turn that bike off. We'll be right back.